Halim comes from the root word Helm and its main meaning is forbearing, taking the time to do something, to hold back and have self-control. For example, imagine someone hurt you more than once and you did not make any harsh decisions yet, nor did you get angry. You controlled yourself and remained calm and you gave them time to think about their wrongdoings. You did not punish them even though you have the power to do so. This would mean you have forbearance. But imagine in this situation that the same person hurt you more than once and you also did not make harsh decisions and you controlled yourself. But in your heart you are burning with anger. You want to hurt them back so badly. This is not forbearance. Forbearance is when one's heart is filled with peace and forgiveness and has no anger or hatred towards them. Allah is called Al-Halim. He is the most forbearing. We may disobey Allah and commit sins all the time, but Allah delays a punishment. Why? Because He gives you time to think about your mistakes and change your ways and that you may seek forgiveness. Allah does not embarrass you. He gives you time to repent because He is the most forbearing. Allah says in the Quran, Had Allah destroyed the people on account of their evil deeds, He would not have left on earth a single creature, but He reprives them until an appointed time. Look at the world today. Look at how many injustices there are. Consider how many sins people are committing day by day worldwide. How many are stealing something right now? How much backstabbing, mockery, alcohol consumption, idol worship and disobedience are taking place right now? The sun rises yet another day. The stars display their beauty yet again and the air is still available for you to use. Allah sees and hears everything. He overlooks sins, covers up faults and forgives those that want forgiveness because he is Al-Halim. How should we live by this name? 1. Be forbearing to others. One of the highest stations and morals of a believer is to have forbearance. Many relationships get destroyed because of moments of rage and anger. One day, Imam Hassan, the son of Imam Ali alayhi salam, was confronted by a man who started to call him names and abuse him. But the Imam remained silent until his anger went away. When he stopped, the Imam greeted him smiled and then said, Brother, you seem to be a stranger here and you may have made a mistake. If you want me to disregard your behaviour and forgive you, I will do so. If you seek something from me, I will grant it to you. If you want me to guide you, I will do so. If you are hungry, I will feed you. If you are in need of clothes, I will provide them to you. If you are needy, I will give you all that you need. If you have been expelled, I will grant you shelter. Hearing these words of the Imam, the man burst into tears and said, I bear witness that you are Allah's Caliph upon the earth. Before this, I regarded you and your father as my worst enemies, but now you are the most beloved to me. The man became one of the sincere followers of the Ahlul Bayt. So this story teaches us that never rush into wrong decisions or rush into rage and anger at any sign of distress or difficulty. But treat them with respect and forgiveness until a certain time, because if we want Allah to overlook our mistakes, we need to be able to overlook the mistakes of others. 2. Don't lose hope. Allah is Al-Halim. He is the most forbearing. Once a man used to commit many sins, and then he would repent and go back to sinning straight away. Having done this so many times, Satan came to him and said, For how long will you keep sinning and repenting? Satan wished that the man would lose hope in Allah's mercy and forgiveness. Later that day, the man performed wudu and prayed, and then he cried out to Allah with a dua, and asked Allah to keep his heart firm following the right path. Allah then said to his angels, O oh, angels of mine, have you all heard this dua? Bear witness that I have forgiven all his past sins and safeguarded him against sinning for the rest of his life. 3. Repent and seek forgiveness at the earliest possible time because we don't know how much time we actually have.